There's a way to go west. I have something that will change everything. But there is an alternative. If you choose, I will not risk my ships on such a deluded fantasy. And I regret what happened between us. In my mind, I wish I never left the farm. Forgive me for all of my faults, all of my failings. I came back because I wanted to see what has become of my sons. You know, I must go back to England. You should have gone back a long time ago. Well, right now, I love Britain. Why do you not go home? I want to see your lambs and I want to see how you farm them. You see? I'm really a farmer. It's retired. I didn't come here to go back. That is why we can no longer travel with our friends. Ethan! You mean you cannot leave? You cannot leave me? I love you. You're the only one I can trust, so you must stay. I have to destroy something. Someone. Truly great. And I have to commit a friend to death. I have a feeling if you don't come with me, I will never see you again. Watch over, my friend. I love you. You will die on the day that the blind man sees you. I can see you, Ragnar Lothbrok. I can see you. Is it wrong? You see, I guided my fate. I fashioned the course of my life and my death. Me. Not you, not the gods. Me. This was my idea, to come here to die. You believe that, so it is true to you. I don't believe in the gods' existence. Man is the master of his own fate, not the gods. The gods are man's creation to give answers that they are too afraid to give themselves. People think that you are not a threat. But I know differently. Out of all of my sons, it was you I wanted to bring here. And it is you that I believe is the most important to the future of our people. I'm just about prepared to believe you. Not unless I need you. You have many gifts. And Andrew is a gift. What is in here is a gift. You do not think like other men. You are unpredictable. That will serve you well. And I promise you, my son, that one day the whole world will know and fear my father Paulus. I can't fight you. When everyone wanted you dead, I took you alive! You have me with them. You have me with now the little piggies will grant when they hear the old poem stuff.
Spirit is handing me over to King Ayla, who will kill me. If this Ayla is going to kill you, then me and all my brothers will seek her for revenge, and you know that. Yes. Oh, you must seek revenge. Is it still necessary to have them? If they don't exist, then they don't exist. We have to live with it. Ah, oh, yes, but you don't. You don't live with it. You only think of death. I always believed that death is a fate far better than life. For you will be reunited with lost loved ones. We will never meet again, my friend. You only think of Valhalla. And all you think about is heaven. It seems like a ridiculous place. But everybody is always happy. Valhalla is ridiculous. All the dead warriors get to fight again in the courtyard each morning and kill each other again. And then they all have supper together. And they are both ridiculous. I cannot kill you. Then hand me over to King Ayla. For we both know that he would take great pleasure in killing me. Then you can wash your hands of me. Christ to the Blessed Virgin. One day, I will avenge myself on him. Bring him to justice. He gladdens me to know that Odin prepares for a feast. Soon I shall be drinking ale from curved horns. This hero that comes into Valhalla does not lament his death. I shall not enter Odin's hall with fear. There. I shall wait for my sons to join me. And when they do, I will bask in their tales of triumph. The Aesir will welcome me. My death comes without apology. And I welcome the Valkyries to summon me home!